What's going on, Nerd Army guys? It's time to explore the history of one of the coolest characters out there, the ultimate Spider-Man, Peter Parker. So guys, without further ado, strap on your web shooters and let's get into this one. Spider-Man is easily one of the most recognizable faces in all of comic books, and he's also had one of the longest running titles of all time. For a character that began in the 1960s, his comic remained in mainstream popularity, having about three different series running at a time until the late 1990s where readers felt they were running out of ideas. So Marvel decided to revamp the character in a new series and just trying to bring the popularity of the character back into mainstream comics. Thus Marvel turned to Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Bagley to hopefully revitalize the character in the new Ultimate Spider-Man series. This series completely revamped the character and brought us back to a 15 year old Peter Parker who is constantly pestered by Flash Thompson and his lackeys. This incarnation of Peter Parker was actually very close friends with fellow bookworm Mary Jane Watson who him and Mary Jane actually secretly harbored feelings for each other but never wanted to release their feelings. One of the biggest things that Brian Michael Bendis brought to the character is that he took Spider-Man's original origin, which was about 11 pages long, and extended it out to 150 pages. In doing so, we got to learn a lot about Uncle Ben and actually get introduced to the character, because Uncle Ben's death did not actually take place until issue number 4. One really big difference between this one and the old series is that we had Mark Bagley here. Bagley is known for his villains, and he definitely went a little bit crazy with the villains in this series. Instead of Norman Osborn putting on a mask and suit, he was mutated and transformed into the Goblin, which closely resembles a demon. Rhino was a man in a robot mech suit. Craven the Hunter is a reality TV star. Doc Ock is much more of a fit villain, instead of the grumpy, frumpy old duck that we're always used to. But one of the best villain retellings is in issue number 30, where Peter meets a young Eddie Brock. Eddie approaches him and tells him that their fathers worked together on a project that was beyond the world's understanding. He explained that they created this black slime-like substance that someone could wear as a suit and is actually designed to cure cancer. Right away, Peter sees the challenge of trying to finish his father's work. So Peter tries on the suit, but quickly realizes that the so-called Venom suit is beginning to try to take over Peter's body. He eventually is able to get it off, but almost cost him his life in the process. Peter then goes to Eddie and tells him, we need to destroy this suit. It's dangerous, but Eddie says hell no, freaks out, and takes the suit and puts it on. The suit easily takes over Eddie, engulfing him in jealousy and hatred towards Peter. And thus, Bendis and Bagley reinvented one of Spider-Man's most dangerous and deadly foes. This series had its ups, its downs, its sideways, and its crazy points. Needless to say, this series was one of the great Spider-Man stories. But all things have to come to an end. In 2011, the Marvel staff decided that it was time for the ultimate Spider-Man, Peter Parker, to die. In a battle with the Green Goblin and the Sinister Six, he actually gets a mortal gunshot wound and then is beaten to a pulp by the Green Goblin. He is able to mortally wound the Green Goblin before he goes, but this yet is the end for young Peter Parker, as he tells his Aunt May that I could not save Uncle Ben, but I was able to save you, right as he passes away. And then he dies an incredible climax to the amazing Spider-Man story. But don't worry if Spider-Man fans, a new hero approaches. But that right there is a story for another time. So guys, like always, I'm going to give you some suggested reading for the Ultimate Spider-Man. So we're going to start it off with Ultimate Spider-Man Learning Curve, which is issues 8 through 13. Ultimate Spider-Man Legacy, which is issues 22 through 27. Ultimate Spider-Man Venom, which is my personal favorite, which is 33 through 39. Ultimate Spider-Man Cats and Kings, sir, issue 46 through 53. Ultimate Spider-Man Carnage, which is issue 60 through 65. Ultimate Spider-Man Clone Saga, which is 97 through 105, and Ultimate Spider-Man number 160, which is the very climactic and very brutal death of Peter Parker. 
and to see the new origins of Miles Morales, the Spider-Man that takes over for Peter Parker in the Ultimate Universe. It is Ultimate Comics Fallout number four is actually the first appearance of Miles Morales. So as you guys can see, Peter Parker from the Ultimate Universe was a pretty amazing character. Brian Michael Bendis gave us a whole new outlook on this character and all of his villains. So I really enjoyed this series, guys. And it was really cool to do a exploring comics version of him. So definitely let me know what you guys thought about this video down in the comments down below. And as always, guys, if you have any requests for any characters you'd like me to do an episode of Exploring Comics with, put them down in the comments below, guys, and I'll take care of them for you. But thank you very much for tuning in. This has been a really cool episode to do, and I hope to see you guys here on the next one. So make sure you guys hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video, and I will see you next time right here on Nerds Marize for another episode of Exploring Comics. Peace out. If you liked the video you just saw, make sure you rate it with that big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out all the other nerdy videos we have just like this one. Also, check out my Patreon account and become a patron if you like for access to exclusive content.